All right, we're going to try to run this thing for the first time. I just got it assembled yesterday evening and uh, got the pen uh, zip tied onto the actual spindle here. Uh, the spindle's working too. But we're going to start with something a little bit uh, a little bit safer since we're just getting uh, getting our feet under us. So, uh, tape some paper down. This is actually the envelope that the order came in. I'm going to go over here, load up some code and see what we can do. All right, so we're fooling around here, and what we're doing is basically setting that zero position. Uh, I was popping back and forth between the tutorial and the actual uh, carbide motion program. Uh, but basically what they do is tell you to move that uh, to the bottom corner, the bottom left corner of the piece of paper, uh, and then go ahead and set this down so that the marker's just barely touching. And actually, I'm um, noticing that my paper's got a little bulge in it here because it's pulled flat, but it's, of course, uh, got a little bit there. Uh, so it is barely touching, but I think I'm going to go ahead and push it down just a little bit more and then re-zero it. That's much better. So I zeroed it the first time, and when I pushed here, it was just a little bit above the paper, so I don't think we would have gotten a good drawing. Um, go ahead and bring it down just a little bit more, and it actually tells you, too, uh, to make sure that you move the increment down so you can set it to fast, which is what I originally jogged with, and then I moved it down to one millimeter increments here. And you can actually go down to 0 .01 millimeter as well, so if you really want to get it close. Uh, but I think we're going to try it right here. Let's, let's go ahead and see what happens. So we zeroed all, and let's give it another shot. So now we've got the file loaded, and that's actually a file that they've just given you from their website. Uh, I'll go ahead and load that up there, and it says uh, that it'll be ready to run. Uh, it actually gives you the dimensions, so uh, you can make sure that you have enough room uh, as you're setting up your stock. But uh, for this, we should have more than enough with this A4 paper. And it's asking me to change the tool, which of course, uh, if you were starting a new job, you'd be checking that tool. We've already got the Sharpie in there. That's going to be our tool for today. Well, that looks pretty promising so far. I think we got it just about right. And this is a fine tip Sharpie, but of course it bleeds like crazy on this paper. So we're gonna see a little bit of overrun uh, just from the bleed. But uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. It looks like it's doing a nice job. Uh, had a probiotics uh, CNC uh, before this one, and it was uh, the X90 version from probiotics. And that was a couple years ago. And uh, just a real bear to use, uh, difficult to, to work with. And this one is just night and day. Uh, a nicer machine, nicer software support. Really excited to do some uh, projects with this one. We just didn't ever get anywhere with that probiotics machine. So uh, this Shape Oko, uh, really, really excited to have. So let's see how this goes. So it took me about 10 hours to put this together yesterday night, and I had the uh, XXL version, obviously. I uh, got it all put together, and then when I got to the squaring step, I found that I, in setting it up here, my spoil boards had uh, basically pushed me out of square by almost a, a centimeter on one side, 10 millimeters. So I had to take it all apart to, to get that all set back up. Uh, but uh, there you go. Uh, the fruits of yesterday's labor have paid off. It looks like we did uh, just fine uh, with that first... Uh, print, uh, if you will. So uh, thanks for coming on, checking us out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up some other files and play around with it, but I really wanted to capture the first time we ran this thing for real. So have a good time. Uh, subscribe, check us out, and we'll be back with more.